I've come back to the Cotswolds, and today I'm visiting the market town of Wooden Under Edge. Located within the Stroud district of Gloucestershire, the Cotswold Way long distance footpath passes through the town. Standing on the B4058, Wooden is about five miles from the M5 motorway. Wooden's name clearly reveals its geographical position under the edge or at the foot of the Cotswold Escarpment, which includes the hills of Wooden Hill and Tor Hill. The edge has also become a term used by locals to describe the area. The Tolsey clock is attached to the Tolsey building and is one of the main landmarks of the town. This particular clock has been in place since Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee in 1897, but there has been a clock on the building since 1595. The clock is now looked after by the Town Council, which took over the responsibility from Wotton Town Trust a few decades ago. In spring 2015, the clock was given a thorough overhaul by volunteer Mark Wolfrey, with support from the Town Council, in order to repair and safeguard it for the future. In addition, local artist Rob Collins repainted his original portraits of Queen Victoria, which embellished the top of the clock, and which had faded in the sunlight. The Town Hall stands in Market Street, opposite the Star Inn, one of several ancient inns in the town. Unlike many Cotswolds towns, in which the parish church, market place and main buildings lie close to one another, Wooden has no recognised centre point. Its church and the Chipping, or Old Market Place, are nearly half a mile apart and separated by the busy Long Street and High Street. Wooden is relatively well served for a town of its size. It contains a kebab, pizza, Chinese and British takeaway, as well as an Indian takeaway and restaurant. There are also three pubs, so the town can be quite lively at night compared to many others of its size. There is a cinema here, Wooden's Electric Picture House, one of the oldest cinemas in the country, yet it boasts the most modern sound equipment and digital projection, including 3D. The parish church of St Mary the Virgin is the town's most important architectural feature. One of the oldest churches in its area, St Mary's was consecrated in August 1283 by Bishop of Worcester, Godfrey Gifford. It is believed that most of the church as it is today was completed in 1325. This is the War Memorial, which stands at the foot of Old Town, at its junction with Culver House. Erected in 1920, it is a Grade II listed structure. The names of servicemen killed in World War I and World War II are inscribed on the memorial. Well, that was a nice little wander around Wooden Under Edge. I've started the day off brilliantly with a nice breakfast in an excellent cafe called The Edge. So now I'm going to start my walk.
My walk began on Tabernacle Pitch, below the Rowlands Hill Arms Houses. Next to these houses is the distinctive Tabernacle Church, which now serves as the auction rooms. Walking up the road in front of the church, my route took me out of Wooden as I climbed steeply up a narrow path. This soon led me onto a lane called Old London Road, which continued to climb. At the top, I swung left along a bridleway and shortly joined the Cotswold Way. I kept straight ahead between the trees, following the Cotswold Way through Westridge Wood. Eventually I passed a stone block, after which I soon exited the wood. I was now starting to see some great views across Gloucestershire and beyond. Walking on to Nibley Knoll, I headed out to what I was particularly looking forward to seeing on this walk. Well, when I chose to do this walk, I knew there was a point of interest I wanted to see. But up until now, I've not been able to see it. So, there it is.
The Tyndall Monument stands on Nibley Knoll, above the village of North Nibley. It was built in honour of William Tyndall, a translator of the New Testament, who was born nearby at Melksham Court in Stinchcombe. The tower was constructed in 1866 and is 111 feet tall. It is surrounded by fencing and has floodlights that light up the tower at night. Locally, it is commonly called Nibley Monument, or sometimes Nibley Knob, instead of its official name. There is a plaque on the front of the tower. The text engraved on it reads, Erected A.D. 1866, in grateful remembrance of William Tyndall, translator of the English Bible, who first caused the New Testament to be printed in the mother tongue of his countrymen. Born near this spot, he suffered martyrdom at Vilvorden in Flanders on October 6, 1536. The monuments can be seen for miles, even in places as far as Bristol, over 20 miles away. The hill the monument is on allows a wide range of views, especially looking down to the River Severn. I just stood there for a while to admire the views of the village of North Nibley just below and the River Severn. The Tyndall Monument is open 24 hours a day, every day, and visitors can enter and climb to the top of the tower, so that's exactly what I decided to do. I climb slowly up the spiral staircase of 121 steps. Eventually I reached the top. It was a long way down, but it was certainly worth the climb and I enjoyed looking at the views from the very top. Sadly, I had to climb down again, so I exited the tower to continue my walk. From Tyndall Monument, I returned to the stone slab and walked back into the wood. Well, it was sure windy up by that Tyndall Monument, but it was really lovely for me to walk up to it, as that's actually the first time I've done that. I've only ever seen the monument from a distance before now, particularly when you drive up and down the M5 motorway, as you can see it from there. 
So for me it's been lovely to actually walk up to it and visit it for the first time today. Well I'm now very slowly and gradually making my way back to Wharton. I continued walking through Westridge Wood. When I reached a T-junction with a field opposite, I left the Cotswold Way as I turned left and followed the paths that ran between the field to my right and the edge of the wood. The route eventually led me back onto Old London Road. Turning left for 25 yards, I passed a turning on the right and crossed a stile to follow a footpath signposted to Coombe Hill. I followed the waymarked path that descended steeply through the trees. After a while I came out into the open and headed towards the Tabernacle Church, following the path back into Wooden Under Edge. So that was the end of a very nice day back in the Cotswolds. I had thoroughly enjoyed exploring Wooden Under Edge, and the highlight for me was the walk up to Nibley Knoll with the wonderful Tyndall Monument.